Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use a free service called Bloglines to keep track of your favorite blogs. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a new account, how you can locate the RSS feed on a particular blog and add that to your Bloglines account. So after you do that, every time you log in into your Bloglines account, Bloglines is going to tell you whether there is new content on your favorite blogs. So the first thing you need to do is to uh, go to bloglines.com and to click on the register link that you see on the top right corner of the page. You are going to uh, be required to enter some information to create your account and then you're going to receive an email with a link that you need to click if you want to activate your account. This is what you're going to see when you first log in into your bloglines account. On the left you have the list of feeds, by default you're added to the blogline news feed and on the right you're going to see the content of those feeds, so basically the new articles published by your favorite bloggers. To add a new feed you click on the add link and it asks you for the blog or feed URL. So uh, let's go to Tech Savvy Marketer and this is the usually the RSS icon that you see on many blogs. You just right click on it and you click on copy link location and then you need to paste that URL here. You can do the same thing in Internet Explorer. I'm actually going to do that right now. So you just click on the RSS icon and then select copy shortcut. Then you, let's go back to Firefox just to show you that it worked. And as you see, this is basically the, uh, the feed URL that you need to enter. Then you click on subscribe and Bloglines is going to ask you where uh, you want to uh, show that feed. If you have multiple folders, you can decide the folder, but in this first example, I'm just going to uh, store it in the top level, so in the root folder. Uh, you can decide to have uh, complete entries shown, or just a summary of the new articles, or just the titles, for example. And then, once you're done, you click on Subscribe, and as you see, the Tech Savvy Marketer feed is going to show up here on the left. It's going to be bolded because new articles were found. Usually when you add a new feed, the last 10 articles are shown. But after that, uh, basically when you click on it, you see that um, the, the feed name is not in bold anymore. And the next time is just going to show the last articles published. So if you didn't for example log in for a week and two articles were published this feed would be in bold with a two in parentheses next to it you will notice that on some blogs uh, there are multiple subscribe buttons for example here I am at peterstonecopy.typepad.com one of the blogs that I like to read and on the left column I see that uh, Peter is offering a My Yahoo subscription button, a NewsGator, and, um, and a My MSN one, and also a standard XML feed. In these cases I always look for the XML, the plain XML feed, or I look for a, a blog lines button if that is my uh, feed reader. Uh, if for example you subscribe to My Yahoo you will look for that button. Or some blogs either offer you a basically a just a textual link that you can uh, right click on like this one. So subscribe to this blog's feed. So let's right click on this one and copy the link location. I'm going to go to blog lines, click on add. I'm going to paste the feed URL here, click on subscribe. And this time I want to show you also how to create a new folder to do that. I click on new folder and I'm going to put this blog for example in the copywriting category because Peter's uh, blog is about copywriting so basically I go all the way down I click on subscribe and as you see I have a new folder I can click on the plus icon and I see that uh, Peter's blog is now here When a particular feed is showing new articles, you just need to click on it and on the right uh, you will see all the new articles. If you want to read one, you just click on the title, 
and blog lines is going to open that article in a new window and here you can basically read the content of that article also something that is kind of useful if you uh, divide your uh, feeds into categories as I've done for Peter uh, and you have more than one blog under a particular category you just click on the category and on the right you're going to see all the posts for that particular category for all the blogs so if one day you want to learn something more about and something new about copywriting you just click on the category and all the blogs you're following in that particular category are going to be shown on the right with their new posts I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you have any additional questions on blog lines just send me an email and I'll try to answer them otherwise I'll see you in a couple of days on techsavvymarketer.com